From the first time the lights came on 50 years ago, Moby Arena has been synonymous with excitement. The distinctly shaped building has hosted some of the biggest moments in Colorado State University's athletics history. From title clinching basketball wins to beyond belief comebacks to total domination in volleyball. I think Moby's not too big, but it's also not small. It's a real arena, but it's intimate because the fans are right on top of you. That's what I think Moby Magic is about. When Moby opened January 24, 1966, it was clear that CSU was serious about competing at a high level. South College uh, is where I played. To me, Moby Arena was, was fabulous. Great place to play, still is. I think Moby Arena was a big change for Colorado State basketball. Moby, though, is much more than a sports venue. It's a campus gathering place. The place where students are first introduced to CSU during Ram Welcome, and the place where they graduate and begin their life adventure. It's also a place to learn and a place to be entertained. It hosted the greatest welcome home party in the city's history when Professor Tom Sutherland was released from captivity and it served a slice of Hollywood magic in the 1970s when One on One was filmed here. Mostly though, it's a place where Ram Pride and Moby Madness are on display. One of the greatest examples of this came in 1988, when CSU fans, hungry for basketball success, crammed into Moby to watch the Rams come together at the end of Boyd Grant's first year as head coach. They won three consecutive games in the NIT with crowds growing in size and passion with every win. We finished eight and eight in the conference. We were chosen to the NIT. Uh, we beat Houston, New Orleans, Arkansas State. This was an exciting time. The fans were, were excellent, and in the next two years we won the conference. I actually um, remember it before I actually showed up here that uh, Coach Grant and his staff did a smart thing. They, they sent me the videotapes of the games from the 1988 run to the NIT where we went to the Final Four, and, and every one of them, somehow the stadium was packed, the energy was high, there was electricity in the air. Not to be outdone, Becky Hammond and Katie Cronin helped create their own brand of Moby Madness, going 33-3 and and advancing to the Sweet 16. Their opening round NCAA wins over Cal State Northridge and Southwest Missouri State drew huge, raucous Moby crowds, the likes of which had never been seen in Colorado. I just remember it was standing room only. I think they had the fire marshal come in and clear out uh, <laughs> the, the stairways because people were, it was, it was just packed. It was a sold out arena and it was crazy. And I was sitting courtside and it was one of the most fun events I've ever been to in Moby as a fan. Finally, the women's volleyball program has taken Moby Madness to a new level, winning more than 90% of its home games and producing 21 consecutive trips to the NCAA tournament. The Rams have played before huge crowds that have pushed them to victory. As we were approaching the end of that Nebraska match, the place was going nuts. And we win the match, and it was the first time I had been a part of this. The fans rush the court. There were probably a thousand people down on the court within 60 seconds. Moby has had a few facelifts over the years, but for the most part, it remains much the same as it was 50 years ago, when Boyd Grant first walked in. I'll tell you everything about Colorado State is this first class. And I loved it. I always will. Happy 50th birthday, Moby. Thanks for being a magical place that's allowed me to win a lot of games. I owe everything to this arena. 